more research is being uncovered that is putting it in the tens, possibly hundreds of millions of people. There's that sort of science is being expanded into South America, where they're now thinking that there were such large cities and numbers of people like in the Amazon that they were actually like clearing forest and changing the ecosystems because the, the Amazon rainforest that we see today, scientists have said the only way this forest could be here today is if it had been cleared and started from bare ground because they just look at the different types of tree species and how they react to being in canopies and you know through modern archaeology work and stuff they're finding these structures and these agriculture areas and they're just it's it's changing you know science is changing the hypothesis and and i think it you know it's going to depend on the time period you know during wisconsin glaciation half the continent was pretty much inhabitable you know, versus, you know, uh, after the, the glaciers receded and stuff. But I think bottom line is I think where science is at now is it was a much more populated uh, continent and economies, transportation, goods and people and stuff traveling from one end of the continent, you know, to the other. They're, you know, they find stuff in, you know, in the deserts of New Mexico that came from quarries in the Rocky Mountains of Canada and stuff like it's, it, you know, it's, it's pretty massive. And that would take a lot of people, um, you know, to, to make that happen.